emergency management. They might as well just say final solution. So close for population growth. Good, good, good. Yo, what is up guys? I'm here to talk to you about a new online zombie survival game. Uh, this is called Dead Matter. It's currently still in development. I've been following this game for a really long time. It looks absolutely amazing. Alright, so with Dead Matter, it's um, planned to come out early next year, early 2019. But if you back them on their Kickstarter, you'll be able to join the Alpha, which will be on December the 14th, depending how far in development they're in. Now, they do have a lot of the features already in, in the game implemented in. Uh, they've got a couple of guns in. They've got, like, obviously you can see the AK-47. Um, I think they've got a Mosin, an M1 Grand, 1911, a Glock. There's quite, like, from what I've seen, there's quite a lot to this game. Like, I've already seen some of the vehicles. We'll see some of them later on in the video. It's already got, um, not base building, but uh, barricading. Like, so instead of making a base, you'll actually barricade a building. You'll be able to get all the electronics working, like in Miss Survival, you know, putting lights up, stuff like that. You'll be able to see that right now. And yeah, like, from what I've seen, this game looks absolutely amazing. So, so we're just going to have a look through some of these clips I've managed to get. And then um, we'll just have a look at some of the features and some of the gameplay and stuff like that. Oh, so here's the AK-47. You know, the recoil doesn't look too bad on this gun, so hopefully it won't be too overpowered. Uh, I know we're trying to make the game as immersive as possible. Like you can see there, the gloves that are switching on his hands, like when he's changing, putting tops on, changing gloves, stuff like that. There's going to be a cold, you know, like there's going to be um, weather implemented into the game. So like, you know, you'll have to get warmer clothes for certain types of weather. All right, then talking about the immersion again, you can see uh, this here is, I, I'm not too sure what that actually is. I, I don't actually know what to call it. I know they're making a smartwatch. I think um, there's the smartwatch. The one before was like the military version. And that's going to be, instead of having stuff all over your hood, you're going to have this smartwatch on your arm and you'll be able to look at the smartwatch to see what's going off with your health, your ammunition, stuff like that. But yeah, from what I can see, I'm really impressed. I think that SUV with driver wall, there's a couple of the animations with the Glock. Um, one of the zombies there. So apparently the body damage is not supposed to do that much so like you don't want to be shooting zombies in the in the body you want to be shooting them in the head like all the time whenever you've got to go and shoot them in the head if not you want to be stealthing around like this is only from what i've been told and from what i've seen here's some of the customization there's um quite a lot of customization within the game from you know what you can see here changing all the uh, different hair colors hairstyles stuff like that so it does look really good, I'm kind of impressed with all that because not many zombie survival games have a lot of customization at this moment in time. So it's nice to see the game, you know, putting in them small little details. Uh, here's a look at the perk system. So there is going to be a perk system, you know, you're going to be able to pick what traits you want. Uh, you know, like you might want to be a medic or a crafter or lock picking for one, you know, just little things like that. Adds a nice little touch to the game. Again, we're back in the hospital here. Like the, the graphics on this game looks really like really good. It's not obviously AAA title type graphics, but it is going to be nice considering what you know. Because these are only indie developers. I'm pretty sure they're only indie indie developers. Um, apparently, there is going to be seasons, so there you know it is going to snow. 
Like, this is what I like about the game right here. Look how many zombies was on that guy just then. Look how many there is. Like, this is what you need. This is what a zombie survival game should be like. You know what I mean? Just look at the amount of zombies. Like, that is what's gonna, you shoot a gun in town and this is what you're gonna get. There is gonna be stamina in the game as well. So you are gonna be able to sprint. Uh, here's a look at some of the vehicles. But going back onto the sprinting, all right, so with the sprinting, you like, like I said, there is going to be stamina, so you're not going to be able to run forever. BMX, love that. <laughs> um, but running away, so you're only going to be able to run for so long, and then after that, you're going to run out of stamina, and the zombies are going to get you. But it doesn't run, you don't run out straight away. Like, you can run for a decent amount of time, then you like have to jog for a little bit, and it'll go up, or, you know, you'll just stop completely, and it'll go up a lot, lot faster. But again, going onto the graphics, the lighting and stuff looks absolutely amazing on this game. I've said amazing a lot because it looks like an amazing game. No, I'm so hyped for this game. I've been watching the development on this game for about six, seven months now. Uh, I think it was announced like just over a year ago. Uh, I've been like, I wasn't, I didn't know about it straight away. I found out about six months ago, like I just said, but it looks so good. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that they're going to do it right. I'm really hoping that they're going to do it right. From what they've said and everything that I've seen, I have, I have faith in these guys. I think it's going to happen. The first real online zombie survival game. H1Z1, you know, that crashed out. DayZ, that crashed out. Dead Frontier 2, you know, that flopped. Man, everything's flopped so far. This just looks brilliant. This is night time, by the way. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you, at night, you are gonna need a torch. You are gonna need, a, you know, some type of light source. If you don't have a light source at night, just stay in your base. Don't, don't go out. You'll die. I, I don't, I don't know that, but from what I can tell, you will die. So obviously, you don't want to be shooting your gun at night, and you're gonna have 20, 30, 40 zombies coming at you, and you're not gonna have a clue where they are. So I'm really, really excited for this. It looks so good. But having a look back at the intro, look at that shooting the barrel, the flamethrower, the Glock, the M16, all that gunfire, it looks so good. It does look so good. Just look at that horde that you're spraying down. Like, that just looks amazing. How many zombies, zombie survival games can you do that? You know what I mean? You just, you just don't, none, there's none. There's no decent ones like that. Sitting in the back of your car while your friend's driving, shooting out the back of the door, you know what I mean? That is just absolutely brilliant. Picking up, like just picking stuff up. You can actually see him picking it up in his hand. How many games do that? Triple A titles, maybe a couple. You know, zombie survival games, next to none. Heli crash sites, already in the game. Daisy, I think it took them two years before they got him in. And they, they were broke to hell. You know, they, they were just super broken. All the, atta the attachment system looks brilliant. Like, you know what I mean? It just looks like it's gonna work. It just looks easy to use. A little bit of parkour in game. I know there's vaulting, I already knew about that. The guy I drive, the third person looks a bit sketchy. Like, it looks like I don't really wanna be using that third person in gunfight. The vehicle, uh, vehicle physics look really well done. The, the gunfighting looks well done. It's, I think it's gonna work. I'm hoping it's gonna work. I'm really hoping. So this is my just like little inside video on Dead Matter, just like so you all knew about the game. You know, gotta make sure people know about this because I want people playing this. I'm gonna be doing videos on this. This is Dead Matter, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's roll that outro. Hey, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check the description for the Discord, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch links all below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like, and drop a comment with your thoughts and questions. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace out.